Yeah, so my name is Aaron Roth. Uh, I am a co-founder and one of the owners of TechFab. Uh, we've been in business for about uh, going on 12 years now. Uh, started very small, actually out of the uh, garage of my house. Uh, and we've been blessed and been able to grow because of uh, some great customers that we have. Uh, basically what TechFab does is build uh, custom automated uh, manufacturing systems specifically for the roll farming industry. Uh, some of our technology is the very top technology in the world in terms of precision uh, and speeds. So at TechFab, basically we uh, solve problems for our customers. In some cases, a uh, problem like that is uh, creating a whole system to make making chairs more efficient, uh, which is this line right here. This machine was uh, for a customer that uh, had a whole system of presses, a lot of old equipment, seven to ten people to make folding chairs. Uh, in fact, this, this is the folding chair. Uh, if what you might notice, the components, uh, the legs, the cross members, they're all made from a single roll, form, uh, roll formed profile. Uh, the process that they used to do is very, very labor intensive. Uh, taking cut lengths, putting it in a press, punching them, taking it to another machine, forming it, taking it to another machine. Uh, what we've developed for them is a system that'll do it completely hands-free, all automated. It can produce basically a chair at a time uh, in terms of the, the components and they can produce thousands of chairs or they can produce five chairs of one kind, switch to five chairs of a different kind. The machine never stops, the production just comes out. It, it basically allows them to produce chairs as they get the orders. Uh, absolutely will help them reduce their, uh, their labor uh, costs and uh, their tooling will be very easy to maintain and uh, you know, to keep the longevity of this uh, product for them. So this is the pre-punch station. Uh, they're all hydraulic punches. As you can see, we have hydraulic accumulators that allow us to fire uh, punches extremely fast. Uh, we have a variety of hole punches to punch different size holes. We actually have pre-notching as well. This allows us to make a really clean straight cut uh, and also improves blade life during your cutoff. We have a couple presses, one that will punch in a date stamp uh, that's required on the product. Another one punches in a logo. It'll actually uh, put the logo of our customer on it. And then we have a miter pre-notch and this allows for the miter cuts uh, to also be very clean and have tool, uh, long tool life. The section right here is all controlled by a servo driven servo feeder that uh, extremely quickly and accurately positions the material as these punches are all punching uh, so that uh, you make the product with the precision and speed you need. There are holes that are being created by this pre-punch station that are going in the flat material before being roll formed. These holes are rivet holes, bolt holes, uh, different holes that are required for the feature of the part. Uh, there's a pre-notch section that also has some holes that we'll use for sensor pickup uh, to tell the cutoff exactly what to cut with and where to cut. So at this area, at the end of the roll former, we have a sensor bank that is going to read the sensor holes that were put in uh, that tell the machine where to cut and what to cut it with. Uh, there's a notch here, as you can see, and the sensors will read that notch as it's going by and give the cutoff all the information that it needs. There's a secondary sensor bank that also has three sensors that once again is double checking some of that information and coordinating for its motion. So if the material is speeding up or slowing down, uh, the servo cutoff can actually match that. As you can see, there's another notch there that had just gone by our sensor section. And uh, if this were running, the cutoff would then fly out. It'll actually cut in the right spot with the appropriate tool. In this particular case, there are four different tools. There's a straight cut, a miter cut, what we call a dumbbell, which is a full radius lead trail cut. 
and what we call a T, which is basically a, a special cut that's uh, required for one of their product legs. Uh, all of this is done automatically via these sensors. No operator uh, involvement is required. No tooling change is required.